Remember my old copy sculpture? This time I'm making a fabric friendly block print portrait for printing my own tank top. Using a photo of my sculpture dropped into Autodesk Sketchbook app, I begin establishing the basic design of my next shirt. I start with the basic shapes and outlines. Once I have a good idea of my final outcome, I take my time to draw the exact lines I want to carve out later. I'm always experimenting with technique, and this time I want to try a transfer method that comes with the speedball rubber block instructions, which says to iron on the design. It said it would work on inkjet, so here I go. I transfer my design as soon as it came off the printer in the hopes that the slightly damp ink will transfer best. And then I iron on the lowest setting and wait, and wait, and wait. I think I might have missed something. I know this technique works well with laser jet printers, I've seen plenty of people do it. But after almost 10 minutes, all I have is a warm block bordering on hot and the faintest ghost of an image in some places. I'll have to see if I can get some feedback on what went wrong from people who do manage it with inkjets, and until then, I return to my usual method, but with a twist. I coat the block with slow drying acrylic mediums and transfer the freshly printed design smoothing with a paper folder. This time I leave the design and acrylic to dry and then wet the back of the paper and start to remove it. This also wasn't perfect, though at least this time I'm pretty sure it was simply because I did not let it sit and dry long enough. This is still a darker, clearer transfer than I usually get, so I can work with this. A coat of blue ink helps with the next stage, carving. I use an assortment of lino cutting tools, though these three are my most used. They're linked below. And here's my favorite part where I get to put on some music and get lost in relaxing carving. Once I'm done carving, I soak the block in warm soapy water to remove the acrylic coating.
Cutting out ink I saved from my last printmaking video, I begin rolling a patch of ink. I start with a little ink and keep rolling until I hear this exact crackle which tells me the consistency is ready for printing. Then I slowly roll it on in multiple passes until my coverage is even. I chose to practice printing this face down because that's the best way for me to print on fabric later. For now, I hand print it because it's convenient at this stage. Later, I'll set up my press. This is my first look at how the block will print and gives me a chance to make any adjustments to the carving, and there are a few. So I quickly ink and test again. I save the extra ink and foil. I'm using linseed oil-based printmaking inks and they clean up easily with vegetable oil followed by warm soap and water which is my non-toxic go-to method. Since the vegetable oil is not artist grade, it will go rancid instead of curing so I make sure I wash all of the oil off before printing again to ensure it won't mix into my inks. If it does mix, the inks might not cure properly. In my last shirt printing video, I print it by hand, and this time I have my very own printing press. This is a levered press from Woodzilla, and I have never owned any type of press, so I'm excited to try it for the first time. I want my design to be brown on tan, so I switch to my Gamblin sepia colored ink. This ink is a little stiff, so I loosen it up with my spatula. I forget who I was watching, but someone referred to this as waking up ink, and I love that. I always find that the block prints better after a few inking sessions, so I test print on paper a few times and by then the block has enough ink for fabric. The fabric test is also my first opportunity to get acquainted with operating this sort of press and finding out how much pressure I need to apply. Nice. I knew going into this the built-in bra would pose some challenge. I didn't discover until after this project was complete that it had the kind of bra I could have pulled out. It wasn't sewn in. <laughs> oh well, I'll have to check for that next time. At least for this project, a little hand pressure took care of the uneven print the bra created. Easy peasy. Heat setting helps oil-based inks last longer, and I heat set mine with an iron set to cotton and iron for several minutes. The paper helps keep my iron clean and the design protected. Now for the grand reveal.
I have waited so long to have my own press, and after this project, I'm super excited to make more block printed clothing and get back into paper prints too. I'm also loving the idea of photographing my sculptures and transferring them to lino cut designs. I have so many ideas now. I hope this video leaves you inspired to give block printing on fabric a try, or at the very least, I hope it entertained. And with that, I will thank you so much for your time, and I hope you have a great day. Bye! Aw, you waited all the way to the end. You're the best.